I'm now going on about my day. I probably it's probably been like four or five hours since I'm not four or five, probably like two hours since I recorded. It's eight o'clock for me. And now we move on to the last four teams and I'm done with this series for this year. But let's not even hold up anymore. The Arizona Birds. So this team, um they don't they got too much going on. Let's just say that. So, I'm going to start with the departures and I'm breaking down everything else. The departures, the additions, and I'm breaking down everything else. So, Chase Edmonds is gone. Christian Kirk. They still got James Conner, so that's fine. Christian Kirk is gone. They got paid $72 million. Jacksonville. Max Garcia is gone. Jordan Phillips is gone. Jordan Hicks is gone. Chandler Jones to, I'm sorry, Vegas. Robert Alfred and Malcolm Butler back to New England, but he just got hurt. So, it's that. Cole McCoy is going to be the backup. James Conner signed a three for 21. Dale Williams got a deal. Marquise Brown, he felt the system in Baltimore didn't benefit him, which is nonsense. You just couldn't catch consistently. So that's that. AJ Green is coming back. Uh, Zach Ertz got him a deal. Three for 31. It's good for him. I'm a Zach Ertz guy. Max Williams is one year. Willie, Chris Warren, his name was Willie. Will Hernandez, uh, Nick Vigil, and Andy Lee. Andy Lee is. I'm not saying Andy Lee ain't play for nobody else, is he? I don't think he's played for E. Well, yeah. Well, two teams. Three teams. Four teams. But he spent the last couple of years at Arizona, so I know I'm not tripping. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to run through those. There's nothing, like, too crazy other than picking up Marquise Brown. But he is out. I thought he, he might be out. So this, this is why I said they got too much going on. Marquise. Bro. So he The Ravens didn't really need me They did You just didn't catch consistently Like drop touchdowns versus um Detroit Two of them in the game Addresses a rest Desire to leave Baltimore Doesn't seem likely to play against his former team Blah 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 His next court appearance for a criminal speeding um, I just learned from, you know, I'm not a guy to get in trouble. So I just put it in my past to make sure I'm always doing the right thing. He was going 126 and a 65. So that means you were going double the speed limit. I mean, very disappointed. I mean, I got kids that look up to me. So like one, especially after what Henry Ruggs. I'm not saying he was Henry Ruggs, but like the speed thing, don't do that. Don't do that. So 126 is crazy. Um. So he's got that, and he's got court for that ticket. Next person, DeAndre Hopkins. He out for the first six games for PDs. <clears throat> Let's ride. Bronco country. Let's ride. Um, this has been the first six games for violations of Performance enhancing drug policy. So, PDs. Um, there's that. Another issue. Kyler Murray. They had a whole contract situation and then proceeded to sign a contract with a clause that said, the, they call it the Jamarcus Russell clause, where he had to spend a couple hours a day, um, a week, sorry, watching film. Yeah, four hours of independent study per week, per game week. It's very important to the team to make that commitment. And then they ended up taking the contract, that clause out of the contract. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Um, But he got his deal for 230. 203, I'm sorry. Is it 203? Uh... What, uh Yeah, two thirty. It was two thirty, one sixty guaranteed. So he's seventy short of Deshaun Watson, but you know. So, so that's all their nonsense. So this past season, they started off seven and zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and zero. They played Green Bay on that Thursday game. I was watching that at work, and I lost because AJ Green and Kyler Murray went on the same page with the Frisco and one. You got smacked by Cam Newton and friends because Kyler Murray wasn't playing. And then Kyler Murray wasn't playing again. 
And then he came back after the bye week. After the bye week, it was kind of everything fell apart. Everything fell apart. They lost four of six. They should have, in games they should be winning. Um, they shouldn't have lost to the Colts. They shouldn't have lost to Detroit. They shouldn't have lost to Seattle right there. So that ended up dropping them. That ended up giving the Rams the uh, the division. So, and then ended up playing the Rams that very first game and getting punched in the mouth. 34 to 11 is crazy. A 20-point lead. Had a 20-point lead on Arizona with four and a half minutes left. That had, that made, okay, whatever. So, they went up 21 points with eight minutes left in the, yeah, with eight minutes left in the second quarter. Scored again in the third quarter. So, it's 28 nothing. So, this is where I go to our friend Kyler Murray. This play is horrible. Kyler Murray. The worst interception in playoff history. I just. Rams pressure throw it away. Is picked up. Kyler. Did he get rid of it? It's intercepted. Going to try to block him. You can't hold the ball if you're Kyler Murray. You're standing in your own end zone. You can't pump it like that. And then you absolutely can't do that. That's a great and play by. See there by David Long. Long is again great yeah. vision. That was a great play by Long. I'm not going to lie. Just reading the quarterback. That was horrible. So, with their upcoming schedule, they got a lot of good games. They had Kansas City to start. The problem is they don't have DeAndre Hopkins, but we'll see what Cliff Kingsbury cooks up. Um, we played them. They got Seattle. They got New Orleans. They got the, the Chargers. That'll be a good game right there. That's the Thanksgiving week. They got Denver. That'll be a, a good offense that's an offensive matchup right there. They got New England. That'll be a good game. They got Tampa Bay on Christmas Day. That'll be a great game right there. So, you know, they aren't playing this weekend. Uh, Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson aren't playing this weekend. So, there's that. But, who knows? Cliffs Kingsbury, you got a lot of work to do. You definitely need to turn the corner sooner rather than later. Um, why do I have Tampa Bay? Why do I have Tampa Bay? I just never got rid of them. Um, so yeah, they had a they they had a ninety nine percent chance of winning. <laughs> well, how much time? That's not gonna tell me what time. Whatever. It's not much to them. Like their main issues has become the player personnel just not being smart. So, um. Got to be better. They got to turn the corner. Got to turn the corner. So, they're going to have some good football to play. Let's look at this. I'm sorry. Let's look at the team stats for the year, actually. I'm going to look at that real quick. <laughs> Last year, Kyler Murray had 3,700. Barron had four interceptions. Christian Kirk had 982. So he's out like four games. Oh well, yeah, he's out like a couple games, three, three, two, three games. Um, yeah. Okay, this statistical breakdown doesn't make much sense. Oh, there you go. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at attempts. So yeah, I mean Chase Edmonds, he's gone. James Conner had 15 touchdowns. That's crazy. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, he was out seven games. Rondell Moore only played 14 games. I would thought he was. I didn't like them drafting him, especially because of the size. Oh, wow. Somebody's in jail. Ronda Rousey in a cop car. Yes. No, I don't like Ronda Rousey. But, anywho, how many sacks did Chandler Jones have? Ten and a half sacks. Marcus Golden had 11 sacks. J.J. Watt got hurt again. I forgot J.J. Watt was on the team. 
But he's active. Um, what happened? This will be my last thing I look at. And two-year, twenty-eight million dollar deal. He's placed on injury reserve. Season-ending shoulder surgery was placed on injury reserve like two weeks later. Played in that wild card game, and then they got punched in the mouth. So, that's it. They got to turn the corner sooner rather than later. And if not, Cliff Kingsbury, you headed back to College Station. But, that being said, I want to say thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.